Well, happening today, a four-day festival continues in Fort Worth, and this is something that rain or shine you can probably enjoy with your family this yes, weekend. Yes, that's right. May Fest kicking off on Thursday, and guess what? You have three more days to get that fill of that fun, of course. Brittany Rainey joining us now. She's there to tell us all about the activities going on. Brittany? Yes, they have so much fun. I mean, they've got tons of rides, they've got tons of food, and they have some pretty spectacular acts that you're not going to be able to see anywhere else. We're talking about Twiggy, the water skiing <laughs> squirrel. Here's Twiggy. We have Tony Tedesco. Hi. You are the owner of Twiggy. How did this water skiing even get started? So this all started as a joke back in 1978, and the joke started as Chuck Sr. was out on the river playing with a remote-controlled boat. His friend came up to him, joked around, said, oh, you learning how to drive the boat? And he said, no, I'm teaching my pet squirrel how to water ski. He, <laughs> he went up the joke, put it in the local newspaper, and here we are. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool. What kind of training goes into getting these squirrels to water ski? So training a squirrel after you earn their love and trust is just like training a dog. Same words, commands, positive reinforcement. That is wonderful. How long does it take to get a squirrel to be able to do the water skiing? So a few minutes a day and a, one month later, you got a water skiing squirrel. Just a month later? Oh my goodness, they are so smart. And what is their day-to-day -day like? So they wake up and they eat their food and they lounge around and we do some shows and eat dinner, lounge around, and here we go. <laughs> and also, Twiggy has the life jacket on because that's a very important part of boating safety. Absolutely. Twiggy is a spokes animal for the National Safe Boating Council's Wear It campaign. So everybody should always wear their life jacket when they're out on the water and out on the boat. Oh, thank you so much, Tony, yeah. and thank you so much, Twiggy. We really enjoyed having you guys on, showing off all of your skills. But, guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg of all of the amazing things you can do out here at Mayfest. The list goes on and on. They even have duck races. We're going to check that out coming up around 940. I, I mean, I told you when you said you were going to Mayfest, I said you got to find Twiggy because I've gone to Mayfest throughout my childhood, and I, I remember vividly seeing Twiggy for the first time. He looks like he's grown a little bit, uh, eating a couple more nuts since I last Look saw him, but he's cute still and he's still got the skills to match. And look at Junior out there doing their thing out <laughs> It worked out great. Twiggy the third, yeah. <laughs> they are living the good life. I love it. <laughs>